Hey Gemini, what's up gang? I hope everybody is well. So we're gonna go ahead and do who is coming towards you, all right? If that's something that interests you, please stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have any information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe your tribe, so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you are returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well, hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you so much for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? All right, guys, I'm getting fire sign energy like instantly. I've got an Aries, so take it as it resonates. But this is who's coming towards you and we got the golden heart. That is an excellent card to get. That is like somebody with a genuine spirit, a genuine intent. Um, this is kindness coming your way. This is an earth angel, like an encounter with an earth angel. This could be a relative that you haven't seen in a while, Gemini, um, or some type of reunion. It doesn't have to be like a romantic one. It could just be like a best friend. I haven't seen him since college or whatever. Uh, some of you guys, there could be something like that going on. Some of you guys might be having a family reunion or get invited to somebody else's family reunion. I don't know, it could happen, right? Um, and maybe there's just gonna be like a lot of love and you're just like, damn, I wish my family was like this. If it's if it's like a different person's family reunion, you might be like, damn, I wish my family was like this. If it's your family reunion, you might feel like, wow, I wish we could get together more often, you know? Um, but I do feel like there's a lot of love that could be coming your way, okay? Mother's Day is on Sunday too. Happy Mother's Day to all the, mo the mothers out there, okay? Um, I feel like maybe some of you guys are going to be enjoying some good times with family, friends, something, all right? Yep, Hummingbird, for those of you that your mom's not here anymore, um, they're definitely looking down on you, okay? And just, I feel like they're going to be with you on Mother's Day, okay, guys? All right, let's go ahead and see what we got, though. Let's, let's get into this, I think. Some of you guys, there could be a romantic partner coming your way. There could be some kind of soulmate, hell alerts, okay? And we did get the spying person. Somebody uh, maybe wanting to come and shoot their shot, Gemini. Maybe they have shot their shot before and it didn't land or something. Or maybe this is somebody from your past. I did get reunion energy. I feel like if that's the case, Gemini, it's something that you are interested in because of the golden heart energy, right? Like that's a very positive card. So I feel like if this is somebody coming from your past, then possibly it would be somebody you would be interested in hearing from, okay? If this is not anybody from your past, then this is just giving me the energy of a second chance at finding happiness with somebody, um, another chance at love, something like that, okay? There could be somebody who has a really big crush on you, Gemini, and they're finally gonna reveal themselves or they're gonna, you know, hint that they have a crush on you. Something like that could be happening, all right? We will see. Oh, look. You cannot make it up, guys. I swear, that's one thing I love about these cards. They're just beyond accurate, okay? Oh, Lord. Well, we got some bird bitch activity. Uh, there could be somebody that has bird bitches attached to them. I mean, it happens, Gemini. You've got a whole gang attached to you. That's for sure. So you guys could have been hearing about this person in divination for a while. This person could also be into spirituality or, of course, you may be. I'm not going to assume that all of you are just because you're watching a tarot reading. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're into spirituality. Um, but you could be into spirituality or you could be a reader. Maybe some, maybe you are a reader, Gemini. Maybe somebody's worried about how, how their family, their friends are going to feel about that. You know, we're going, we're going around the table. Everybody's talking about their careers and stuff. And we get to you and you're like, yeah, I read tarot on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know guys. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I feel like we're beyond the point of giving a fuck what people think about us, but at the same time, it doesn't always feel great when everybody like just kind of looks at you like you have three eyes or something, which technically you do, right? <laughs> you just can't see one of them. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that could be something, there could be something taboo that's surrounding this connection. Um, there could be a whole bunch of things. This could be just completely opposite. Like you guys are completely different. And so introducing you, got, you guys to each other's family is like, it's gonna be awkward no matter what, okay? This is like, an Amish girl bringing home somebody from Bone Thugs, okay? Like, that's the energy I'm getting. Like, it's gonna be awkward no matter how we go about this. So we might as well all just show up as our authentic selves. Because I do feel like 
If you're bringing somebody into your family, Gemini, or you meet somebody that's different and you're worried about that dynamic, I feel like this person is going to, like, it's giving the energy of this person really can get along with anybody. Like, they're very open-minded. They're very um, free and just, like, non-judgmental, really, in the ways that matter anyways, because I feel like we're all kind of judgmental. Sometimes you have to be judgmental. I'm sorry. Some people deserve to be judged. Anyways, let's just move on from that, right? But I feel like there's something about your family accepting them or their family or their friends or whatever accepting you, okay? Like, yeah, they're different. They look different, but they're cool or they, we get along or we have a lot of stuff in common once we start talking, you know? So I don't know. There could be something like that. This red string of faith, though, is just really giving the energy here of like, this is destined. You guys were led together, brought together by forces beyond your control, could have been getting a lot of messages about each other, possibly even having dreams. Maybe this is the energy of this connection was blocked for a minute or like until everybody was in alignment. It feels like it's a spiritual connection, whether this is friends, family, a lover, or just a, 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 you know, an acquaintance you're meeting. I don't know. Either way, it has a really good energy surrounding it. And it does feel like this is divinely guided or directed in some way. Okay. So if it was time for you guys to be in alignment, you'd be in alignment. And if it was time for you guys to kind of take a, a step back from each other, then maybe that's what was needed. Or if you just, you got blocked from each other's path for whatever reason, that's just kind of the energy I'm getting. Okay. All right. Let's see what else do we have. Oh, oh, that is too much. Oh no. That was the only one that flipped the ancestors and they came out with a quickness. Yeah, I feel like somebody's ancestors led them to you, Gemini, or vice versa, or everybody was in on it. I'm not sure if we picked a, if I released this to Patreon, or if I released this to YouTube, or if it was a reading I did not release, because I do, I, y'all, I'm going to make a post about it, so don't even worry about that, right? I have some stuff I need to say, but um, I do feel the same energy as one of those readings where there was the word dowry that came up. And I had, to, I, I, I thought it was Bowery or something. I had to actually look it up during the reading on my phone. And a dowry is something that like the husband or the husband's family will pay to the bride's family as like almost a payment. It's kind of like, okay, but I'm getting the energy of like ancestral ties, like coming together to support both of y'all's lineage. So this is going to be very strong, like you will bring something to their lineage. They will bring something to yours. Like it's mutually beneficial is the energy I'm getting here. And there could have been ancestors that gave spiritual blessings. Like if we can get this happening and in alignment, because we know they'll love each other, right? So if we can kind of make, do what work our magic basically and help out where we can help out, here's some spiritual blessings. Or like if this union comes together, if it ends up coming together, then this is the blessings we're gonna give to you. These are the blessings we're gonna receive. It's something like that. It is something like that. But you guys definitely have ancestral ties somewhere. You might even find out that if, you ha if you've done any kind of ancestry um, research, you know, like ran your, uh, your family's history through like ancestry.com or any of those places you can go to get your ancestry researched. If you've done any of that, you might find out that your ancestors were kind of like close to each other around the same time way back in the past, or there's some kind of synchronicity here. Both of you guys could um, have some kind of indigenous or Native American energy in your ancestry and both of you could be part of the same tribe or tribes that were friendly with each other or even warring with each other there's something about that like families being tied together somehow back in the day and then you guys coming back together take it as it resonates that is what i'm getting either way though i feel like their ancestors led you uh them to you you to them and i feel like somebody's been watching somebody for a while Okay, I feel like the one that's been watching someone, whether this is you or somebody else, Gemini, I feel like that one was led by their ancestors to this person. And I feel like this person's kind of fascinated. I'm almost getting the energy of a train wreck, but in a good way. <laughs> if there's ever a such thing as that, it's almost like this is so beautiful. This is so chaotic. This is so unique. I almost cannot take my fucking eyes off of it. Like what is going on here? It's like giving that kind of energy. They're almost giving the energy of like their ancestors being like, all they have to do is just see Gemini, just see Gemini, watch Gemini work their magic. And I know that they're going to be interested. We just have to make this happen. It's like your ancestors were trying to like find a way to like get you guys together. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But either way, 
golden heart, the soul tie with the ancestors, the good ancestors, the ancestors that are approving of this, this is a positive connection. This is a very positive connection. And it doesn't necessarily have to be romance. For a lot of you, it does feel like that. Um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It really could be the energy here of somebody who's going to be giving you some kindness or somebody who would be great to work with. This could be um, a new a new neighbor, perhaps, you know, and it's just, it's a great neighbor to have, you know. Good neighbors make all the difference, guys. Y'all know that. For anybody who's ever had a bad neighbor versus a good neighbor, you know, your neighbors can make all the difference in a situation. So some of you guys could be moving or somebody's moving in next to you or in your neighborhood and you guys run into each other and it's just like, wow, I don't know, there's something about that. Like somebody in your life that's coming towards you, this person, they were directed towards you and this is beneficial or it is, it's a good connection. It's one that your ancestors approve of for sure. Okay, let's get, I'm hearing the train in the distance. It's funny because we just talked about a train wreck. This person, maybe they're a conductor or maybe they work on trains or maybe they are going to be traveling by train or you're going to be traveling by train. I don't know, something about that. But just something's coming in and you can't stop it. You know, it's really hard to stop a train once it gets going. So something is coming, it feels like. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? What's coming towards Gemini, please? Who's, no, sorry, not what. Excuse me. Who? Who is coming towards Gemini? We have the moon coming out. Interesting. That's feminine energy. But it doesn't have to be. You have to take it as it resonates, okay? Another positive card indicating a soulmate connection here. Yeah, a lot of emotion coming through this. It's, oh, I thought I saw the... Uh, Maybe I'm seeing things. I thought I saw a different card, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's something where you are intuitively feeling this person before they come in. Um, some of you guys, again, with that watching energy of somebody who's been watching you from a distance at your work, online, in your community, wherever you could be watched, Gemini, because it's going to be different for everybody. And keep in mind, these messages are not for everyone always, like at all times. It's for whoever the message is, is for, right? So if it doesn't resonate, then it doesn't resonate. But it does feel like you have intuitively felt this person for a while, or you've been picking up on this person, or this person just feels a very strong intuitive connection towards you. If you're already with somebody, this could be talking about this, and this could just be confirmation that your ancestors do approve of this person. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Cancerian, excuse me, energy coming through. Yeah, this connection is supposed to create some kind of harvest. So again, it doesn't have to be romantic, could be platonic, could be a working arrangement, um, but either way, you guys are going to bring something to each other's legacy. And this is a strong partnership. Like this is a soul contract. It feels like like you could, your souls had a soul contract. I'm getting like, literally guys, I'm getting a spiritual court. Okay. They got Archangel Michael as the bailiff, right? Locking people up when necessary. Okay. Um, I'm getting like your ancestors with you over here, their ancestors with them over here. And then like spirit being in the middle being like, okay, so this is what's going to happen. This is how each family is going to benefit. I don't know. It's something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I feel like this person is going to bring abundance to the everyday life and you will do the same for them. Anything that I say that you're going to bring to them, Gemini, or they're going to bring to you, you would bring that back. Like it's mutually beneficial. That's what they keep saying. Mutually beneficial. This benefits everybody involved. It's not just helping one person or the other, which I feel like you need to hear, Gemini, because some of you, some of us, I guess I should say, because, you know, I'm always right here with you guys, um, could have really experienced like a lot of vampiric type of connections where people just come in to take, siphon, you know, coat ride, whatever it is, okay, that they feel like they can get. It's like, I, what can, how can Jennifer, Jim, Jim, <laughs> Jennifer, maybe somebody's name is Jennifer. Um, how can Gemini benefit me, right? What can Gemini do for me? How will this make me look if I'm with Gemini? Things like that, okay? So I just kind of feel like you're really used to those kind of connections and you are ready for something that is mutual, something that you know, I can give to you and I can feel good giving to you because I know that you're going to give back to me, right? Yeah, I feel relaxed in this connection. You guys might do little things for each other too. You know, like I'm getting the energy of like, if you guys ever do live with each other, like I'm getting the kind of energy where 
one person, you know, you text during the day and the person's like, I've had a really bad day. I'm just tired. Da, 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 da. I can't wait to come home. And then when they come home, you have like dinner ready. You have a bath drawn for them. If they're into gaming, you got their gaming stuff ready. And, and it's just like, just do you, right? Come find me when you're ready. That kind of energy. Or if you know that they like to spend time with you, like they like to watch movies with you or something, like you'll have a movie picked out or something like that. It's like being very considerate of your partner, wanting your partner to feel good, wanting your partner to feel like they're safe with you. And I feel like they do the same thing they do that. Like It feels like that's the kind of connection. Look, yes. Feels like there's a lot of love here, Gemini. Okay, damn. Well, congratulations. Congratulations, okay, <laughs> for whoever this is for. Cause uh, yeah, <laughs> not that it's anybody's business, but I I'm not talking to anybody. I'm not interested in anybody. I'm not talking to anybody. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm keeping myself locked up a little bit. Um, okay, so dream catcher. Yeah, some of you guys might feel like you caught, you caught a dream. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little parched. This person could be a little thirsty for you, Gemini. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as they're not, again, it, it, there's nothing wrong with being giving and thirsty and all that shit to your partner when you're, you know, you're going to get it right back. Like they're just as thirsty for you as you are for them. Shit. So let's just be thirsty together and quench our thirst if we will. Right. There's something about that where it's, oh, it's safe. It feels like this feels like a safe connection. And I do feel like y'all have dreamt of each other before. Whether you're aware that this was this person, some of you guys might dream about people that you don't know. Um, you know, you've never met before. And if that's the case, then you may have dreamt about this person and you might instantly like kind of have that recollection when they when you guys meet in the physical. Um, for others of you, if this is your partner already or this is your crush or, you know, somebody you're just interested in, whatever. Yeah, you've dreamt about this person or they've dreamt about you. And again, there's something very protected. It's sacred. And it's protected on a spiritual level too with the dream catcher. You know, the ancestors, again, connected to the dream catcher, catching the negative energy while you sleep. That's the whole concept behind the dream catcher. So that's the whole concept behind this connection. It's catching negative energy. I, or, um, I, you know what I'm almost getting to? Like you guys are the, both divinely protected. I'm like, Gemini, we already know you're divinely protected. But I feel like this person is too. Maybe some of you have never really met somebody who is that divinely protected. Like you are. I'm almost getting the energy of like, I don't know if this is a future thing that will happen or if it's already happened. I mean, you have to get in where you fit in. But I'm getting the energy of you getting your hand slapped for maybe, I don't know, Gemini. There could be something where this isn't meant to be a connection where y'all play games with each other. Right? Like, it's too fucking spiritual. And, and y'all don't need to play, be playing these games. Like, if somebody texts you and you're available, then you text them back, right? But being like, seeing their text and being like, eh, let's let them sweat it out for a second. <laughs> I'll text them later. That's a game, right? And it's like, you might get your hand slapped from Spirit for doing that. And you might be like, Spirit never slaps my hand. What the hell? And it's like, yeah, because you're, you're messing with somebody who's on your level. And, and it's making me question what your level is. It's almost what spirit is saying to you. Like, because if you're going to play games with this, do you even deserve it? Like, it's something like that. So some of you guys, that might happen to you. That might happen to them. I feel like spirit will correct in this connection. Cor correct both of you guys if needed is really the energy I'm getting because it's so sacred. Like, y'all are meant to fuck around. And I do feel like there are outside influences that would love to come in. Um, you know, the masculine, the feminine, both energies male or female guys, because this isn't about gender, it's about energy. I feel like both of y'all will be tested from outside things that would come in to disrupt the energy, you know, tear you, you apart from each other or tempt away with the snake energy, you know? It's giving like Garden of Eden and the snake with the apple and stuff. So I feel like this connection is protected on a really high level, but both of you have to do your parts as well, okay? All right, let's get some tarot because I am curious. I'm sure y'all are too. This is a really positive energy. So let's find out about the soul connection that's coming towards Gemini. The soul connection that's coming towards. We have the fool that came out. Sagittarius energy could be significant. We also have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is also giving Aquarius for me and Aries with the fool energy. I think I did pick up Aries in the beginning. I'm pretty sure I did. 
yeah, this is feeling like a fresh chance at love. You know, after all the bullshit, look, his, his clothes are rattered, tattered. He done been through it. Okay. And it's like, this is a fresh chance and it feels really good. And, and I feel like there's going to be even a moment where you just put your head up to the sun and you're like, wow, thank you. Thank you for sending a real one. Right. <laughs> like I appreciate it. I thought you lost my address for a second. Yeah. Some of you guys is going to take you out of a place of feeling lack. Like, you know, I don't really like that kind of energy, but I know that it's natural and normal to feel that way sometimes, but like the what's wrong with me, you know, um, maybe there's something that you've been feeling like that Gemini like where it's like why can't I meet somebody or why I'm always meeting these crazies and you know what's going on like why does it ever seem to work out for me like that's the kind of energy I'm getting this takes you out of that you've been going through a lot of heartache Gemini or a lot of letdown not just in love right because this really does feel like love but it doesn't have to be like well as far as romantic um but just in career family maybe health hits maybe like you know bird bitches popping up left and right like it's been a lot you know so this feels like a breath of fresh air it feels like something nice and genuine and something you can enjoy and have fun with is almost the energy i'm getting what else do we have here this full energy for this connection give me more about this connection that's coming towards gemini what was this it wanted to pop but it didn't three of cups wanted to pop i feel like this is something where you can be friends and lovers but it feels like a celebration or just good times. If this is not talking about romance, Gemini, this is a brand new opportunity and you're going to meet somebody through this opportunity or something's gonna be beneficial, possibly even career-wise. This could be you getting a fresh start. Tell me more about this connection, please. We have the Page of Wands coming out with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's something about lightheartedness, fun, being able to laugh with each other, being able to take it easy. And there is something about taking a chance too, because there's a really big uniqueness here, especially with the Aquarius energy coming off that fool. It's almost given the energy of like, somebody could be a little eccentric, or maybe both of y'all are. But like I said, I feel like there's going to be a culture shock for somebody, you know? I feel like one person here is kind of open and knows a whole bunch of different types of people and, you know, is just kind of multifaceted in that way is almost the energy I'm getting. And the other person's maybe been a little bit more, I don't want to say sheltered Gemini, but it feels like, you know, when you've grown up in the same area your whole life, you ain't really been around a lot of places and stuff like that. And you meet new people and you're like, whoa, you know, it's like walking down the street and seeing people dressed up in punk gear with like pink mohawks and if it doesn't phase you then you know that you're the one that's definitely been more open and been exposed to more in your life right but if that would make you kind of do a double take like oh okay you probably you're probably the one that the person coming in is going to give your family the culture shock you know and I feel like you love this person like for you know well let's chill out I don't know if you love them yet Gemini okay but I kind of get the feeling that you're really going to enjoy this person's personality their vibe how they are you know how different they are how it makes people question things about themselves too like you'll notice that about this person or this person will notice that about you like almost like hmm this person makes my family kind of flustered and makes them have to think before they speak and before they say certain things because they don't want to be offensive. And it's just, it gives you kind of a good feeling because it maybe you feel like this is what your family needed, which could be part of that. That could be part of that divine contract. Like, yes, we want to cleanse out these rusty, dusty uh, cycles in our family of everybody looks the same. Everybody acts the same. Like, you know, family is supposed to have variety. Life has variety. It is the spice of life after all. I feel like this is somebody you would never get bored with either. For those of you, especially Gemini's, because I know that's something that it is kind of true. Like we get bored quickly, you know, and we can kind of, I don't want to say move on to the next quickly, but there is that energy of, you know, like kind of having to keep our attention, kind of having to, you know, we like fun. We like fun relationships. We like happiness. We like joking around. We like, you know, sponta spontaneity, you know, things like that. And I feel like that's what this person provides. Like they give you that spontaneity or that spice that you maybe felt like was lacking in other connections. There's something about this that's clear to see that this is a new chance. It's a new beginning. And this is my life purpose card. So they're, again, it feels like not your purpose to be with this person, 
Of course not, right? But you know, we all have several different purposes while we're here, but I feel like it's something that you could fulfill a purpose with this person. Like maybe you guys could create a business or you could do something together, even if it is just healing generational stuff. For sure. Somebody could be a different color and that could be something. You know, I'm almost getting the energy of <coughs> no. This is really specific, guys. But I'm almost getting the energy of you have like, let's just say, let's just say one person's white and then let's say the other person's black. Let's just use that. OK, um, the person that's white way back in their family somewhere, they have African-American in their family somewhere. I don't know where, but they're giving me the energy like a grandmother or a grandfather or something. OK, the person coming in that is of that race, it's like healing. It's generational healing to to have somebody come in that. We're not hiding this away. We're not going, oh, you know, they just got a heavy tan, you know, and all that stuff. I mean, I'm the only mixed person in my family. So I've, I've experienced that kind of stuff with my, not with my family. My family never denied me or did anything cray cray like that. But I'm getting, I'm, what I'm talking about is from extended family. Okay. Being weird, just acting weird and, and, and stuff like that. So there could be something where there's a generational healing because of that. If there is something where it's a cultural difference or I don't know, guys. That's what I'm getting. So tell us a little bit about this person, this soulmate, just really quickly. Tell us a little bit about them. Let's find out a little bit about this person. Who's this person? Who are they at their core? Ooh, mom, mom might be the word here, okay? Because the cards are getting kind of quiet here. Star wanted to pop, but it didn't. Yeah, mom is the word. Some cards popped out over here, but yeah, mom is the word. For some reason, spirit wants you to get to know this person authentically. I feel like in the flesh. Okay, this person could also have Pisces or Virgo in their chart this high priestess also Sagittarius Pocahontas was a Sagittarius so take it as it resonates hmm yeah I'm like I want to pull again but I already know the rule <laughs> I know the rule when it's like when cars don't want to pop and then yeah sail away, move on to something else um I feel like yeah Got to be obedient. But, but I will say this with this high priestess card. This person likes their privacy. I'm here in Shrek. I like my privacy. Okay. <laughs> Not good at doing that accent. Um, yeah, this person likes their privacy. They like to, they might be a homebody, but then at the same time, they do like to go out. I just feel like they like to go out to um, like museums, state parks, fun places like paintballing and things like that. Or um, I don't know, you know concerts maybe but as far as like going out to the club and you know maybe to go just go shopping somewhere like that I don't think that that would be their thing we did pick up the spirituality heavy in this reading the whole time but we did pick it up at the beginning that this person could be spiritual and so yeah this person could be a high priest high priestess for sure this person could um definitely just be intuitive and that might make somebody if that's Whoever it is, whichever one is more intuitive and is openly intuitive, it's like it's going to make the other person nervous because they're going to feel like they're being read constantly, which I kind of feel like if you don't have anything to hide, then what's the problem? Um, but at the same time, it's like people are, they do, they like their privacy. We already talked about that. So yeah, there could be something about that. I just feel like it's a very strong spiritual connection. The spirit seems to want to move off of this. So let's go to the ancestors. Uh-oh. That means I got a time limit. I got literally 10 minutes and we're gonna have to cut this reading. So let's get it. All right, tell me something about this ancestral thing. Yeah, Eight of Swords wanting to come out reverse, guys. I feel that so strongly. I'm feeling like this is something where there's been some kind of generational pattern that's gonna be broken through this connection, okay? There's gonna be some kind of truth or clarity that comes out, maybe about the hidden toxicities within families. I don't know why this connection affects the families so much, but it does. It does, it affects the families is the energy I'm getting. So why are the ancestors here? this with who's coming towards Gemini why are the ancestors here we have the three of swords I feel like this connection heals something within your ancestry 
I'm just getting that so strongly. I feel like there's some kind of expansion here that happens because of this connection. Like um, there's been a lot of closed minded thinking or there's been a lot of generational pain. Like there's been a lot of pain. Also, I feel like the ancestors are here to tell you that if you've been feeling like this in other connections, you don't need to overthink this, lock yourself away from this. You don't need to stay stuck in a painful mindset or like, oh, nothing ever works out for me. Like, I feel like your ancestors want you to know that if you're in this state when it comes to love and connections and trusting other people, that they approve of this. I feel like that's what they want you to know. I feel like they don't want you to... Get into your emotions and maybe deceive yourself here. It's just what I'm getting here. Yeah, the death energy, that is about ending some kind of cycle here. And I feel like this is talking about within connections. So what do the ancestors want Gemini to know about this person that's coming towards them? We have the Six of Wands that wanted to pop out with a whole bunch of cards and the Ace of Cups. Let's get one something clear. We have the King of Pentacles coming out. Look, with the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. That's what they want you to know, that this is a match. It is a match. And it's something that, again, wraps up a lot of pain or it helps heal a lot of pain. Not only within your own life that you're living right now. Because when you're with the right person or you're around the right people, the right connections can be so healing, you know, just on a soul level. But you don't have to be really going out of your way to do anything special. Sometimes it's just people holding emotional space for you or doing little things to show you that they care. It's nice to have genuine people in your life, right? It feels good. So, you know, I, I feel like humans can be lone wolves, but we are also pack animals, like for sure. Okay, family is means a lot to some people obviously not to everybody family means a lot okay <laughs> i'm just gonna leave it there but i feel like there's this energy here of that like this is a match gemini like it is and it's something that you're not really expecting that's what your ancestors want you to know about this person this person is stable this person could be secure um financially mentally emotionally this person is a mountain male or female because we did see the queen of pentacles here so it's giving either or whatever your variety is, it feels like this person is stable. This person could like to save money or they, they um, I feel like this person is financially savvy, even if they don't have to be. Like this could be the type of person that you would assume that they really don't have a lot of cash. And then when you get to know them and I don't know how you would know about their money, but if at some point y'all get serious enough where you do know about each other's money like that, you'd be like, damn, they're actually like, secure or this is somebody who comes off as they're secure and then they're even more secure than you think like damn it's like you gotta like that that like it's like that yeah okay aquarius energy coming through <laughs> i don't know that's what your ancestors want you to know about this king of pentacles though they don't want you to miss this opportunity they're like accept the cup Ooh, I'm getting the energy of like the people's elbow. Bam! I'm like, you better fucking accept this cup. I feel like your ancestors, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Your Yes, look, your ancestors are like, you better accept the cup, Gemini. There's something about that. Like this is a great connection and we have pulled, no pun intended, a lot of strings to, <laughs> to get this together. So there better be... A connection like I feel like it's more than just I feel like there could be a disruption and that might make some of you guys be like eh. um because I feel like there's something here with the ancestors where it's like they they want these blessings or whatever this is that's mutually beneficial like yeah <laughs> you know um and with the queen of wands here and the devil Capricorn energy coming through I feel like this person might have you know hey I'm giving them to listen it's giving attractive okay it's giving big D energy. It's giving like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I pull bitches. That's the kind of energy it's giving. So you might be like, yeah, I don't know. You know, I feel like you might get red flags off this person because of how attractive they are, how put together they are in their life. It's like, how could they not be a hoe, right? Like that doesn't make sense, okay, at all. So yeah, I don't know, Gemini. That's the, Your ancestors are like, listen, honey, accept the cup, yeah. There you go. This person could be Gemini too. Gemini energy coming through. All right. Yeah. Don't block this offer. Accept it. 
And it's okay to start small too, right? All right, let's get on because we got we got to we got to keep it moving. What's up with this uh, moon? For what's coming towards Gemini? We got the Strength card. Some of you guys, you know, I wasn't sure when it first came out, but I wanted to wait because I do feel like you are getting a lot of intuitive hits about this person. But I also feel like there's somebody else around you. Leo energy coming through. I feel like you're going to need to resist something. Maybe that's why we saw that queen of uh, wands as well. I feel like either or, male or female, wherever you're at in the story, there's somebody else that's a temptation. There's somebody else that's in karmic energy um, that you would need to resist, okay? This person could be cloaked. This person could have some kind of intuitive connection towards you too and know like they have a fucking like alarm that goes off. Oh, Gemini's about to move on. Gemini's met somebody worth it, right? Gotta pop in, fuck with their head. It's something like that, okay? This could also be saying that being with this person, the original person that we were talking about, is also going to strengthen your intuition. Like your, your spiritual guess, yeah, I feel like it's what I thought. Okay. Feel like it's what I thought. Uh, you're going to need to ignore this cup, but take this cup. So know which cup you're accepting. We were seeing the two of wands. You know, that is talking about choice. So does the lovers. Now that I'm thinking about it, right? So yeah, there could be a choice in love here. And your ancestors are wanting you to go with the smart choice here and, and not the choice to get your... Because there's something that this other person has that you would want. Like they're sexy or something. Yeah, they want you to block this out. They're being very clear about that. But I feel like the the other person, whoever this is, this is somebody that you know they're bad news bears. That's what they're saying. I never say that, bad news bears. So somebody in the audience must say that. Um, but you know that they're bad news, basically. Um, I'm hearing Taylor Swift's bad blood, too. So now we got bad blood. We used to be, we used to have mad love. Look what you've done. Now we got bad blood. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody from your past that wants to come back right around the time your new boo thing's going to come in. Man! Bailiff, right? Where's Archangel Michael? Please lock this person up, okay? Cancerian energy, Libra energy. I don't know, okay? But I do feel like that's what this is. Like, there's going to be a choice here. Who's coming towards you? Yeah, somebody from your past that you've already blocked out. This person's being served some kind of karmic justice. Isn't that a bitch, Gemini? This person probably serving karmic justice for whatever they did to you. And then they want to come get comforted by you. Like, no, that's not how it works. Okay. So I don't know, Gemini. I feel like it, you're going to know who's who because this person you have some kind of history with for sure. This could also be saying it's somebody who, um, this doesn't have to be all love, even though this reading kind of went into a love reading. This can also be talking about somebody who has nefarious intent towards you. They're trying to stay hidden. It's a low-key hater. This person could be spiritual. They don't have to be. Or they're doing some kind of dark magic, but they don't have to be, guys. Not everybody's out here doing magic. But more people than you think, okay? Yeah, this person could have heavy Leo in their chart or heavy uh, Libra in their chart. I feel like this person is going through some kind of spiritual justice right now, okay? This is one sword. This is two swords, three swords. This person is in a whole uh, just shit storm is what they're giving me. And they don't want you to feed this energy. You don't need to. So if this person comes back trying to be your friend, trying to be your lover again, trying to like, you know what I mean? It's almost like be strong, resist that energy. You don't need to be involved because the truth is coming out about the situation. That's six swords. So what do you need to do, Gemini? Yes. Yeah, that's what you need to do when it comes to this energy, okay? It's kind of turned into a love reading, but it's all good. Yeah, King of Swords, this person, I feel like you already know the truth about this person. You've come down to a final decision about this person, and so there's really nothing else to discuss here. Yeah, Four Swords, right? You're, you've are you laid something to rest, and it should stay that way. So this is somebody wanting to rehash some shit. This could be somebody who is trying to find out shit on you. I feel like they're just going to keep reaping karma. Your dreams and desires are calling you to action. Wow. The journey begins today. That is crazy because I do feel like you've dreamt about this person or you will dream about this other person here, the soulmate. Like I feel like there's that dreams for some reason are significant. You have dreamt about this person. You will dream about this person. For those of you that do art, you might like draw this person or I don't know. All right, we have Finch. It says, new opportunities and choices are opening up to you now. Claim them. Yes. Oh, uh oh, shit's fine. Yeah, claim them, Gemini. Oh, 
And didn't we see that with the ancestors? Like, you better take that cup. You best take the cup, Gemini, okay? We have the starling energy. Now is the time to get out into the world. Ooh, and connect in authentic ways. So Gemini, you might meet this person when you're out and about. Spirit saying, now is not the time to lock yourself up like the hermit, you know? Except for if it's that situation we were talking about in the last reading, going out for friends with friends for drinks and stuff. I don't know. I don't know about that. That was a, some crazy energy. But I do feel like it's okay to get out. It's okay to do things and connect with people in real ways. Like allow yourself to meet new people, Gemini. Okay. We have the white owl. The wisdom and messages of the divine are within you, Gemini. So yeah, you're getting, a, you will be getting intuition in regards to either or situation. Okay. All right. And then we have last but not least, the magpie. Reevaluate your prior case. It's time to let go of what you no longer need. Coming right on the top of this moon energy. Because I do feel like Cancerian, Pisces, Leo, Libra, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries. Okay, any of those signs, this person, whoever this is, you've already done went round and round with this person or they've already showed you they ain't shit in some kind of way. They betrayed you. They've done something right. Just quit wasting your time with people like that, Gemini. You know, reevaluate your prayer, reevaluate, excuse me, your priorities. What do you want? That means that's what's a priority. You want to be happy? Well, fucking with this person ain't going to leave you happy. Okay. There's something about that, Gemini, okay? All right, guys, that has been your reading. I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.